Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll learn how to access LinkedIn by using a cookie from an active session. Let's start with an inject node. After that, add an open browser node. Then an open link node. Now here, we want to go to linkedin.com. Let's try to run this flow first. Here, we do not want to use or require LinkedIn login credentials. Instead, we want to open a session that is already logged in with our cookie. So we need to find a method to pass the cookie data to an opened LinkedIn web page. To achieve this, we will use the browser packages set cookies node. It adds a cookie to an opened web page, which allows you to appear logged in when you navigate to another page on the same site. The value of cookies should be an array to allow the addition of multiple cookies if needed. Here's an example of how it should be. Copy this so that we can update the array in a function node. We will only set one cookie for LinkedIn. Let's rename our function node to prepare cookie. Double click to open the editor and paste the value. Click save and the code will be automatically formatted. Now let's set this to message cookies as a value. We will now update this cookie with the correct values from a logged in LinkedIn session. To do that, go to a LinkedIn page where you are already logged in. Press F12 in Chrome and find the cookie named li underscore at. This is the session cookie for LinkedIn that is required. In other sites, the cookie name will be different. You can use the filter bar to find it faster. So we will start copying these values into our function node. Let's set our cookie name as li underscore at. Then copy the actual value of the cookie into the function node. Then copy the domain value from the original cookie. Continue copying the expires value and then paste it into the function node. We don't need the max age and same site values, so we can delete them and save. We can now add another open link node to our flow to open another LinkedIn page that requires login. This way we can test and see if our cookie is working. Remember to check the open in the same tab option in the second open link node. Otherwise, the cookies set by the set cookies node will apply to the previous window, and if a new window is opened, there will be no cookies. Now let's run this flow to see if our cookie works and if it opens a LinkedIn page that requires login. As you can see, our cookie method is working. Now, let's move our cookie to a safer place. We will store our cookie in a vault, so let's copy and delete it from the function node. Vault is a secure location for storing your confidential values. Click the vault icon, then enter your workspace password to open your vaults. Next, select your vault and create an item to keep your cookie. We can select the API key token type and paste our cookie value here. Let's rename as the cookie name. We can choose any name, but a better name makes it easier to locate the vault item. We must now retrieve this vault item in our flow and use it in the function node. To accomplish this, we need to add the get item node from the vault package. Select your vault and the vault item that holds the cookie value. Now the cookie is stored in encrypted form in your vault instead of being kept as clear text in the function node. 
the output from the get item node is written into the message credentials field. You can place a debug node after any node to check the output. Here, we can view the credentials value to understand its structure. The API token value will be placed under message credentials.value. Now, after this, we can stop our flow. Let's also rename the inject node to start and add a three second delay to the stop node. This will allow us to see if the cookie functions successfully. Let's run the flow. It worked as expected. Always keep your credentials in your vault, where they will be securely stored and encrypted, rather than in a function node in clear text, as this can expose them to security risks. Thank you for watching.